as a surgeon, Maybell worked a lot of ER shifts, and it's probably not an injury she hasn't seen. By learning how to deal with them when there are no hospitals available, you can take care of yourself and your family in times of need. You'll also discover how to keep your immune system healthy. I'm not talking about the run-of-the-mill things that you find on the internet. I am talking about the things that doctors do to keep their immunity high after they come in close contact with sick people. Things that you can also do at home to protect your family. You'll find out the old mustard oil and salt remedy that is used to restore gums and remove plaque from your teeth. Salt acts as a mild abrasive that helps remove stains and brighten teeth. It also contains a natural source of fluoride, which is a bonus for your teeth and gums. On the other hand, mustard oil helps strengthen your gums and make it easier to remove the plaque. So instead of spending a fortune on dental implants, why not use this method and others to preserve and strengthen your gums and teeth? You'll also discover 10 non-medical items that you must stockpile for darker times. A few months after Venezuela's economy collapsed, these 10 items became more precious than gold, and they could be traded for almost anything you needed, including medicine. Unfortunately for Maybell, she had only two of the 10, so she didn't fare as well as you might if you get them all today. Don't worry, they are not at all expensive when society is still functioning. You'll also find out about some of the ingredients that you have in your kitchen right now, which, when mixed the right way, can help you sleep like a baby again, even if you're dealing with an enormous amount of stress and anxiety. If you're taking sleeping pills from time to time, even melatonin, you should try to replace them with this recipe instead, as it's natural and completely safe. You'll also rediscover 40 bizarre home remedies our grandparents taught us that actually work and doctors use or prescribe. These have once again become very popular, very important for people who have no option left but to treat themselves at home. For example, you can tackle most headaches using a potato, deal with bug bites using toothpaste, lower fever with vinegar and socks, make cough syrup from black radish, and many others. You'll also learn how to use a two-pronged approach to help resolve pink eye and other bacterial eye infections. Did you know that there is a sort of natural doxycycline to be found as close as your own backyard? The plant is called Usnea, and it's popularly known as Old Man's Beard. This wild plant grows all over North America, and once you gather some, you'll find out how to turn it into an antibiotic tincture to greatly increase its potency and shelf life. Another thing you'll discover is how to make your own cabbage bandages. Cabbage leaves are great and anti-inflammatory and contain compounds that also draw out poison or pus from a wound and speed up the healing. This isn't even a folk remedy. Maybell was taught this in medical school and confirmed it in her practice later on in life. You also learn by keeping a small stockpile of Listerine in your medicine cabinet. It can be a very good idea. In the hospitals of Venezuela, they used a lot of Listerine for various types of bacterial and fungal infections, wounds, gangrene, and diabetic foot with satisfactory results, according to Maybell. And even all of that is just the tip of the iceberg of what you'll find inside the home doctor. This book is absolutely massive with over 300 pages filled with practical tips, precise diagrams, and step-by-step -step procedures that will allow you to stay healthy and help others while society crumbles. The medical system can be put under enormous strain even when things are still somewhat normal. An unforeseen event will always push it over the edge, and you'll be left in the back of a huge line to see a doctor while you're hurting or in need of urgent medical assistance. With the home doctor, you can become a home doc yourself. Home docs are self-reliant people who take care of themselves and their families when the situation demands it. That's what I wanted to achieve with this book, to empower normal people with no previous medical experience to take care of themselves their loved ones, and even their communities when doctors and hospitals are not an option anymore. If you decide to place a copy of The Home Doctor, Practical Medicine for Every Household on your bookshelf today, there are two additional gifts in store for you, all still free of charge for now. The first one is called Wild Edibles You Can Forage For or Find Around Your House. These are the life-saving herbs that people of Venezuela ate when